hello beautiful viewers welcome back to your favorite channel gambia this week uh today we are here to explore a new uh thing we are right here at uh the Denton bridge the bridge that is between uh just one to uh banjul so we are here to explore or oh, what is the activities that is going out going on in Denton bridge uh, Denton Bridge is uh, every day. Uh, the bridge is posted with activities. People cross with food, bicycle, vehicle, going about their daily routines. The view from uh, the bridge are breathtaking, especially during the sunrise and sunset. The bridge is indeed uh, a big bridge. If you're just tuning in for the first time, please do not forget to like share and subscribe on our videos for we bring into every interesting story so right here uh, we you can see on the videos we can you can see different size of boots uh, different activities normally go, go see and not only fishing not only people using it for a means of transportation so we will have a talk with some people uh, or a person who will take us through uh, the history or the activities that always goes around Indian Temple. So yes, um, guys, if you are still with us, um, we are right now with Sambu Sanko. Yeah. This is the secretary of the association of the of, of the boarding and fishing association here in Ijoswang. So, um, Mr. Sambu, welcome to our platform. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I'm saying thank you very much to you guys for being here. Um, this is Dunton Bridge, we call in name. And I am Sambu Sanko as the secretary of the Boating and Fishing Association. We are here doing a business called sport fishing and boat trip business. Sport fishing is what we normally call fishing that we do in the sea and in the creek with the sport boat, sport fishing boats like fiber boats. And then the fishing we do in the piroc boats are called creek fishing boats. And then in another way around we do lazy day trips and sunset trips, which we normally go up to Lamel Lodge too in the lazy day boat trips to have fun with the Gambians and other people coming from diaspora like tourists. The busy time is from November to March, April. That's the duration of this season called tourist season. But normally here now is we want it to be in a year round, like the whole year round. Even in the summertime, we have some Gambian trips, which we call Gambian Fun Lazy Day. Yeah, they normally took the boat from Dunton Bridge here cruising in the Oyster Creek towards the mouth of the River Gambia by passing through Pelican Island towards Lamy Lodge. And then on their way back from Lamy Lodge visiting, they normally pass through the sandbar. That's the place where people used to have swimming, relaxing, table, ball, uh, table tennis, volleyball. And some people go to look for cockles and mussels on the sandbar. It's a very nice place, very wide, almost 200 meters used to be dry. Some people, they play vol at football itself as Warga Warga, we call it in our local language which is a very interesting thing. So the thing is, a um, lot of Gambians now are aware of boat trips because in past years, before the pandemic, it's only the tourists we are targeting, but now we are even targeting the locals. So speaking of that, we, can, uh, we realize these boats are a bit extensive and very big. So to how much are we saying if uh, that, that is the cost of a boat, like to take a boat from Joswang to Lamin Lodge? Uh, to take a boat from Dunton Bridge to Lamin Lodge, we normally charge it 
1,500 with food and drink, 1,200 if the amount of people are more than 15 upwards, even $1,000 if they are more than 20 upwards. So it depends the capacity you carry and then the boat will the boat owner will make that discount. We organize breakfast in the boat with the breakfast normally used to be streams omelette with coffee or tea. And then you have buffet lunch which, where you have streams, pasta, um, fried chips, fried chips and chicken, fish, another thing, which is very nice for Gambians who are testing. And then from there we give them drinks and water with mixed fruit in the evening. So in what part of the year is business mostly booming here? Uh, during the season time is booming before the pandemic but now for the Gambian time uh, yeah, it's booming in the year round now I can say because most of the Gambians are going for summer holidays in the boat instead of going to the beach for Sunday beach and all the things so it's interesting now even in the summer in the Gambia I'm at the side of the boat trips than before so I am assuming your clients must be the greater percentage of your clients must be the white men right um, yes, past years before the pandemic, the great, uh, the great, great amount of clients are the white people or people from different countries than Gambia. But now it's not. Now our target and our main clients are Gambians or people coming from the neighboring countries like Senegal or Murtani, Guinea Conakry or Guinea Bissau. I want to go in for boat trips here too. So if, if the activities here are concerned, what are the major challenges that you guys normally go through? Yeah, we have a lot of challenges because um, access of road to be done to go to come to Duntim Bridge is our one, one challenge. And secondly, we have toilet facilities, but we don't have water. And we pay for water at Nawek for a couple of months now. We don't still have any tap coming up to our area. That's another thing. And then secondly, um, problem of our gates too, because most of the gates are wooden gates, so they won't last forever. Anyway, we, they normally serve us sometimes for six months, and then we have to go and look for a palm tree to cut it off or to buy it from people to come and build another gate. But now, uh, thank God, we have a phone from the Gambia Red Cross, which was uh, combining with the Red Cross from Spain, helping us a lot by building some toilet facilities for us, a standard gate too which you can see, all was built by the, uh, the Red Cross, which we really appreciate much. So how, how supportive is government in this initiative here? Uh, to be honest, we hit, we knocked the doors of government, but still we don't see any big support yet, because all what we do is we pay our taxes to the government. Um, every boat here has to have a seawardness, which is paid to GMA. Uh, a captain has to have a captain, uh, how to call it, uh, a captain competency which is a driving license for every skipper and then we pay insurance we pay GT board but still we don't see any big 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 help for the government yet but we are still expecting because it cannot be we cannot say it will never happen so any minute from now they can see yeah these people are over there and they are doing good we need to give them a support so tell us, like you, you being young people here, trying to do good for yourself, how does it feel knocking on the doors of the government and being torn down? Yeah, being a young people in the ground, doing our everything, um, and again have an experience in the water, in the seaside or the riverside, or we know how to do uh, sailing and other things. We can even provide boats to go to Bagwe, like what our, our other colleagues are doing. But we never do that. What we are trying to do is to develop our country by working on our own side do everything to see that Gambia is in another place or in another level. So doing that, most of the tourists, even when they come here, they get surprised because when they see us driving this type of pirog boats, they ask us, wow, how comes and how can you do this? We normally tell them these are Gambian skills. It's not the skills that come from the pilots or whatsoever at, the, or at the Europe or whatsoever. So we do learn everything on the ground here and then we do everything here. So and all our boats have their safety materials, which is safe and competitive to be, to be in. Like we have fire extinguishers, um, boats are all st um, having build pumps in whereby they have life jacket ring boys inside, which is all safe to be in. So they always appreciate what we do. So speaking of safety, um, have you ever registered any casualties here? That is to say accidents? Uh, yes, uh, past years before the pandemic, we never encountered. But now because of the fishing trawlers are coming in the, in the creek, going out, um, likewise our pirog boats are coming in and going out. We always have sometimes problems with the with the, uh, with the trawlers because you know the trawlers are too big. They occupy all the space of the creek, whereby when our boats are coming, they have to wait for the trawlers to come out from the creek. Then they can start sailing, or else 
they will knock each other in the creek, which is not good. It makes our clients even scared. When they come to the soul, they normally ask us, is the trawlers coming out? We normally tell them, no, the trawlers are coming out now in only the high tide. But low tide, they are not. Yeah. So um, you being secretary of the association here, um, like what plans do you have on the table moving forward if this business is concerned? Yeah, we have a lot of plans because we have projects coming from um, the Red Cross and we have people coming from uh, a National Environmental Agency and we have other stakeholders which are coming around knocking those NGOs which are trying to see what development can we have. But you know, our main source and our main problem is um, the access to come to Denton Bridge. That's one thing. And the second thing is we don't have marketing which we normally call online marketing, which is helping a lot of people in terms of social media and other things, in terms of in the business, which is not much in our side now because we don't have no electricity. Only, the only thing you can use is your mobile phone by using TikTok, Facebook, Instagram and other things. But when your mobile goes off, unless you charge it from your boat with the solar, we don't have no electricity around. And then it costs us not to be able to do any night trip too because the gates need to have some lights, which we don't have. Only the boats have electricity, like solar electricity. But um, when they go out for sunset romantic trips, which we call afternoon trips, they normally have to be here by 8, latest half past 8, nothing more. Because or else it's, too, it's going to be too dark, it's not safe for the clients to get out from the boat to walk on the getty. So that's why we don't like to do such. So what are your final words to the Gambians out there who are looking to discover places to have fun and leisure? Uh, for Gambians outside, what I'm just trying to say is uh, welcome back to Dunton Bridge. Um, I feel very bad, my brother, to see our old fellow youths and young, young Gambians dragging at the side of the beach, which is very bad for me. Every summer we see a lot of people. Every Sunday, so I can say in the summertime, they can say three people uh, has already gone off in the water. They drank off and four people has this. But I, can't, I saw you guys as Gambians to Gambians. In the boat trip, you will never encounter such, and you will have best fun. You will eat to the max and then enjoy yourself, dance, swim, even if you like. We have lifeguards in the boat which are competent to be safety, doing things in the boat for saving people's life when they are about to um, fall in the water or to drown in the water at the sandbar. We have people who are special there for that. So don't be afraid. These boats are not like boats going to the back way. They are boats which are safe to be. You can have sunbed on top, lying down, dancing like a club, and then relax in the, on, on, on top of the chairs in the boat, which you have real fun. Gambians who experienced it before, they all say that. And then the food are amusing. Yomi. <laughs> yeah, it was good to have you. Mr. Thank you very much, you guys. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the bridge also holds historical significance. Uh, it has witnessed the country's journey towards independence, and it has been a witness to many political and social events that have shaped in the Gambia history, whether you are a lo whether you are local or a visitor. Denton Bridge is a most seen attractive in the Gambia. It is it presents the spirit of unity, progress, and the resilience of its people. So it is. So if you ever find yourself in the Gambia, do not forget to take a stroll across Denton Bridge. Uh, I hope you enjoy this little story about Denton Bridge in the Gambia. Do not forget to share, subscribe and like on our YouTube channel. This is Gambia This Week once again. See you in our next videos. Bye for now. The bridge also holds historical significance. Uh, it has witnessed the country journey towards independence and it has been a witness to many 
uh, a witness to many political and social events that have slipped in the Gambian history. Whether you are a local or a visitor, Dunton Bridge is uh, a most seen attractive, a most seen attractive in the Gambia. It represents the spirit of unity, progress, and the resilience of its people. So, if you find yourself in the Gambia, do not forget to take a stroll, a stroll across Dunton Bridge. Uh, this is all we have for you in our today's uh, video right here at Dentem Bridge to explore a new thing. I hope you enjoy uh, this video. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and like our videos and leave a comment. Bye for now. See you in our next video.